Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I would like to thank the China Institute for Innovation and Development Strategy for inviting me to speak to you today at the 2021 Understanding China Conference. It's disappointing that we're unable to meet face to face this year, but I will look forward to having that pleasure once more when the current global pandemic has passed. In the meantime, I'm really pleased to be able to share some reflections and perspectives on high standard market system building and practices in relation to the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. Swire is a multinational conglomerate with a diverse portfolio of global interests. Within that, however, 87% of our assets are in China and we have more than 150 years of history in the country. We opened our first office in Shanghai in 1866 and our first one in Hong Kong in 1870. More recently, at the beginning of China's reform and opening up four decades ago, Swai was one of the first multinational companies to return to the Chinese mainland, signaling our confidence in what we believed would be a remarkable growth journey. Since then, the world has witnessed China's incredible economic and social development. We've seen years of rapid growth leading to a new stage of high quality development. And to facilitate this, the Chinese government has started building an advanced high standard market system. Early this year, the CPC Central Committee and the General Office of the State Council unveiled a joint action plan to guide the development of this system over the next five years. The plan includes more than 50 measures aimed at building a unified and open system with orderly competition, sound market institutions, and effective governance. At Swire, we welcome these plans. High quality and high standards, operational excellence, a commitment to service and reputation. These are all core values and core strengths of ours. And as such, we're very confident that Swire can thrive in China's new high standard market system and that we will continue to contribute to the country's overall social and economic development. Today, Swire's major businesses on the Chinese mainland include airlines, aircraft engineering, property development and management and beverages and food. In all of these sectors, we've demonstrated our commitment to high quality and standards, and we are highly valued as a partner by many local governments and businesses across the country. To date, Swire Properties has completed six major projects across the Chinese mainland in Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Chengdu. All of these are underpinned by our hugely successful mixed use retail led model although each development is uniquely and sensitively designed to blend into its home city, and more importantly, to add value to its local community. Our first completed project in Beijing, Taiku Li Sanlitun, has transformed the Sanlitun area in the heart of the city's Chaoyang district. It's transformed into an exciting lifestyle destination. In Guangzhou, meanwhile, Taiku Hui has become an iconic landmark in the Tianhe CBD. And in Chengdu, we have Taiku Li, built around a major heritage site, which includes the 1600 year old Datsa Temple and the Guangdong Guildhall. Taiku Li Chengdu is now a city landmark in its own right, attracting millions of visitors every year. In Shanghai, Tian Taiku Li, a low rise development in the Pudong New District, has just opened this year. And we also have our HKRI Taiku Hui project, which is located at the celebrated Nanjing Road CBD in the Jing'an district. In aviation, the Cathay Pacific Group, of which Swire is the largest shareholder, stands as a world-class premium airline, providing important links between China and other global markets, including Belt and Road countries. The past two years have brought unprecedented challenges for our aviation division in the face of COVID-19, but we remain confident about its long-term future and about growth in the sector globally. In addition to our airline group, 
Swire has major aircraft engineering businesses on the Chinese mainland. Eiko Xiamen, for example, is the foremost maintenance, repair, and overhaul service provider in the Asia-Pacific region, attracting airline customers from around the world. In the beverage sector, Swire Coca-Cola is a world-class operator that leads the way on environmental standards and food safety. We now have 18 bottling plants in 11 provinces, as well as the Shanghai municipality, employing approximately 23,000 people and serving a franchise population of 675 million customers. These examples should give a picture of Swire's commitment to the Chinese mainland's economic success. And as a foreign investor, we're delighted to see measures in the Joint Action Plan on widening market access, pre-entry national treatment, and establishing a nationwide negative list management system. These measures signal an even higher level of opening up and a desire to establish a more level playing field, as well as a better overall business environment that aligns with international standards. This will provide more opportunities for foreign investors like Swire to expand our business. In fact, we do already have a number of plans in the pipeline to expand our current portfolio on the Chinese mainland. Our ongoing property projects include extensions to Taiku Li Sanlitun, namely Taiku Li West and Taiku Li North, and an extension of our Indigo development also in Beijing. In Shanghai, we've formed a joint venture management company to revitalize Jiangyuan area by transforming it into a unique cultural and commercial landmark in the heart of the city. And here in Guangzhou, we've just signed a cooperation letter of intent with the Guangzhou Pearl River Enterprises Group to jointly develop a commercial project in the Julong Bay area in Liwan District. In Xiamen, meanwhile, we're pleased that the municipal government has opted to build a new airport on Dadang Island. We will be investing in new aircraft engineering facilities at the new location and will ultimately move Heiko Xiamen's headquarters and its 4,200 employees there. In Zhengzhou, Swa Coca-Cola has signed an agreement with the city government that will see us invest 600 million RMB in a new high-tech bottling plant, replacing our existing facility. The new plant will feature advanced technology that not only improves production, but also reduces our environmental impact. Another region where we're looking to expand our footprint is the Greater Bay Area, which of course is where our core businesses are headquartered in Hong Kong. The GBA, comprising a unique cluster of nine Chinese mainland cities and two special administrative regions, has a population of 70 million, 10 times that of Hong Kong, and bigger than the UK. And with a GDP of 1.7 trillion US dollars, it ranks ahead of both Australia and South Korea. The transport infrastructure that intersects it and its business-friendly policy environment make the GBA a particularly attractive place for foreign investment. The GBA, in fact, already has a very high standard market system in place. Over the years, supportive and innovative policies from both local governments and the central government have allowed the GBA to achieve significant reforms and opening up with key measures, including preferential tax schemes, youth exchanges, mutual recognition of professional qualifications and the opening up of financial markets. Going forward, new plans regarding the development and expansion of both Hung Chin and Tianhai are particularly exciting and will provide more business opportunities for investors from Hong Kong and Macau and from other parts of the world. In addition to expanding our existing operations, we're also alert to new business opportunities in Chinese mainland. We're now exploring investments in sectors new to us where we see significant potential for growth. For example, Swire has recently taken shareholdings in a number of healthcare companies, including Columbia China in Shanghai, New Frontier United Family Hospital in Shenzhen, and Shanghai Delta Health. Healthcare is a new business for Swire, and it puts us on a learning curve. Nevertheless, we recognize that there are significant synergies with our existing long-term investment strategy. With our long-standing commitment to high-quality service delivery 
and our reputation for operational excellence, we believe we can add real value to the healthcare industry in China. One area where we're looking to build on our experience to date is sustainable development. And we're pleased that the Chinese government has made it a top priority. In a joint venture, Swa Coca-Cola recently invested in Hong Kong's first food grade plastic recycling facility. We would welcome more policy support from the central government so that we can introduce similar projects to the Chinese mainland market, including the GBA, and contribute to the creation of a high quality circular economy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have all witnessed China's resilience during this pandemic, and China's recovery is already proving to be an engine for global economic growth as we look forward to a post-COVID era. The central government's dual circulation policy and strategy will help to protect the Chinese economy from the volatility of external markets and drive future development in a more balanced and sustainable way. Meanwhile, enhanced measures to relax market access demonstrate the nation's commitment to deepening reform and to taking opening up even further. We heartily welcome the joint action plan and look forward to the rollout of more measures. Together, these will surely attract more foreign investors who, in tandem with local investors, and by exposing the market to international best practices, can help to create a world-class, high-standard market system. Meanwhile, as a committed long-term foreign investor, Swire remains extremely confident about China's economy and we will continue to invest in China. Thank you, and I wish you all good health.